Hey, Mocha family. I am just waking up and look at me. Oh boy, my hair is feeling a little dry because I was pretty bad. I usually sleep on a satin cover in the summer, but uh, this is cotton. So my hair is feeling, looking pretty dry. But I wanted to come on here because I am going to vlog what I eat all day today. This was requested that I talk more about intermittent fasting. And I think the hardest part is figuring out what your diet is going to be. I mean, what your actual meals are going to be. So first thing in the morning, it's about, it's a little after six o'clock in the morning. That's sleeping late for me. But um, the first thing in the morning, what I will do is I will drink 32 ounces of water with about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Here is my 32 ounce bubble cup. I keep it right here so that when I come down the stairs, I see it. I need all kinds of reminders to stay on track. And I just fill it up with filtered water. And today, unfortunately, I am out of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to have to restock on that. And so ideally, the next thing I could do is drink um, fresh lemon juice, like squeeze some fresh lemon juice into this water. Uh, I don't have fresh lemons, but I do have that concentrated lemon juice that comes in that big green bottle so i might put like a splash of that into the water lemon juice is good for you too it's not it doesn't have i don't think i drink it for gut necessarily but it has a lot of other factors in it and sometimes what i'll do is i'll fill up my water and have it by my bed the night before and have it by my bed so that I could just get up and drink it. And on a busy day, that's really good because there are all kinds of things that will deter me from doing what I'm supposed to do, including how much time it takes for me. Oh man, and there's like, like almost no lemon juice left, y'all. It's time to go to the grocery store. It's time to go to the grocery store, but I'm gonna pour some of this. That's it. Bottoms up. And I take my time drinking this. Like, I have a really bad habit of gulping things down, but that just adds a lot of air to my system. And so I'll just take my time sipping this as I uh, go about checking my emails, uh, opening blinds, you know, all the kind of stuff you walk around your house and you do first thing in the morning. <laughs> Mocha dad back there praying. He's not about the vlog, the vlog life, so <laughs> I'll leave him alone. Hey, you guys, I'm about to go eat some breakfast, so I wanted to do an OOTD, hence why I don't vlog. <laughs> I don't do this white shorts and this, loving this blue, blue on me. I did an Instagram post. Ooh, these little things are flying around. <laughs> I did an Instagram post posting myself wearing a strapless dress this color and you guys really liked it i'll share that picture if i can find it but i'm going in to make breakfast forgive me if i don't hold this camera well but this is a regular day for us so people are in and out the girls are over there eating breakfast here's miss mocha baby so you will hear noise but i just wanted to show you what i'm doing so you guys my main concern is having a hearty breakfast with everything that I need in it. So this is the butter that I use to scramble my eggs. These are two eggs and I will put nutritional yeast in it. Not necessarily for the cheesy flavor because I don't really think it tastes cheesy, but it has a lot of good health benefits to it. And so I read articles saying that there's not a problem with eating eggs every day. And so I don't have uh, any cholesterol issues or anything like that, but I, I will keep that <laughs> I'll monitor that put it that way and then I drink a green smoothie and I use this pineapples in 100% pineapple juice to sweeten it and it's just pineapples about five frozen strawberries and some spinach 
Then I'll have two uh, rice cakes. This is made with brown rice, and I buy this at the supermarket. And with creamy peanut butter, natural creamy peanut butter. And I'll say that I do put, um, I forgot to say that I do put flaxseed meal in my um, smoothie. And I have a video talking about how that helps me not to have a flaky scalp. Mocha dad trying to go to work, making all this noise during my video. So that this is basically. You making a video during my life. I'm making a video during your life. Okay, well, I guess it's all fair. That's fair. So, um, I'm going to put the eggs. I don't know. I always see people cooking during these what I eat videos. I'm not good at this kind of multitasking, you guys. I'm, I'm doing my best here. So, I put, I put a decent amount of this stuff. And I scramble it. It does. It has a smell that I don't love, but you know the flavor is fine, and the sriracha pretty much neutralizes everything. with a smoothie I usually put avocado in it because the battle is to make sure you have all those healthy fats in there I usually put like half an avocado in it but I'm out of avocado <laughs> with my girls and when I came out of the movie theater I drank one of these 16.9 fluid ounces of water and I'm about to polish this one off one thing I've noticed is like 1 122 right now we went to a matinee one thing I've noticed is that sometimes hunger is really thirst and so as I'm staying on top of my my water intake I noticed that I don't necessarily feel all that hungry like I feel mildly hungry right now my goal is to eat between two and three and so probably closer to three and once I do that that'll be my last meal of the day I also want to clarify I know you guys have heard me say over and over that I don't eat dairy but this morning you saw me eating eggs and butter I'm aware that eggs and butter are still dairy uh, I I haven't discovered any kind of sensitivity to eggs and butter so I, I do eat those regularly um, however you won't catch me drinking a glass of milk or milkshake or any kind of beverage with milk in it ice cream that kind of thing I am able to eat cheese from time to time but I treat that more as a treat. okay so I am back I changed my clothes <laughs> I was kind of laying around but um I wanted to show you what my dinner meal is. It is now three o'clock and this is what I found to be the perfect time for me to eat. So I'm gonna switch this over. Before I get started, I wanted to give you guys sort of kind of some perspective. This is like one of those super massive dinner plates. This plate that my food is in is not that. It's, it's somewhat smaller. There's like a smaller area for you to put the food in, but nevertheless, I still have a healthy portion of food. I would say that you're looking at like maybe a cup and a half to almost two cups of this macaroni salad you see here. And this is some grilled uh, chicken, barbecue chicken, and some um, 
this is a baked yam. So this food was left over from the family cookout that I had, and I'm going to eat it. I, like I said, I'm not on a special diet other than the things that I don't generally eat, and I don't generally eat pasta like this because it's, it, it's kind of like a wheat-based product. But since I've been doing this intermittent fasting, I've discovered that I can eat this without as much bloating or digestive discomfort. I, in fact, I had some yesterday and I didn't have any kind of reaction to it at all. And this is another cup of green smoothie. So when this cup is combined with this morning's cup, it's the same exact smoothie. I just made a big batch and saved this second cup for now. I will have had about 32 ounces of green smoothie for the day. And you guys, I am going to top, <laughs> I am going to top my macaroni salad with sriracha. I love it. Try it. This is a tuna macaroni salad. Try it with that sriracha. It's pretty good. This is 32 ounces of water. I won't be drinking that now, but before I go to bed, I'll try to drink this and maybe even another one. It depends on how my body feel. feels. I mean, I've been known to drink about a gallon of water a day and you can Google that. It's been absolutely wonderful for me. At this meal, I take my multivitamins. I think one of these pills, maybe this one, is a probiotic pill. I, I don't have that out on the table, but this other one, this is a natural hormone regulating type pill, this DIM. You can Google that because uh, I'm getting, I'm in my 40s, so the hormones are starting to act up, that perimenopausal type stuff. Uh, I take this multivitamin. This is a regular woman's multivitamin. I'm not recommending this brand or anything. It's just what I, I, I have, what I'm using. Easy to get, to get. And I also do a super B complex. And that is it, you guys. So that really wraps it up. I don't think you guys need to see me sit here and eat this uh, like I did my, my breakfast, but I just really wanted to show you what it actually looks like in reality. Like after I eat this meal, that's it. I'm not gonna eat anything else for the rest of the day. I probably will continue to drink water uh, within reason so that when I'm sleeping, I'm not getting up all night having to go to the bathroom because I drank so much water. But if I wanted tea on a cooler night, I could have tea. It's okay to drink coffee. Coffee doesn't pull you out of the fasted state either. All, the only thing is you don't want to put sugar and you don't want to put uh, too much cream or whatever in it. It's all a matter of maintaining a certain number of calories. Like I think, I think you can consume, um, I don't know, like Google it, but there's a small amount of calories that you can consume and still your body will still stay in a fasted state. And so that's it, you guys. And I, I have a health, I'm not starving, dying, can't wait to eat. Like my body has adapted to this really well. I, I have a nice amount of hunger that I would feel for my next meal. And, when, and then at bedtime, I'll probably have be a little bit hungry, but not starving to where I can't go to sleep. And if I drink some water, before I go to bed, I'm usually fine. So this has been working really well for me, you guys. So if you have any questions, any comments about it, leave it in the description box down below. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell because I've been noticing that sometimes I get notified of my videos and sometimes I don't, depending on whether or not I allowed all my notifications to be sent. So. Make sure you do that. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Be blessed, and I will see you in the next video.